Hi, my name is Brendan and I'll be your instructor for this Python built-in functions series. Now before you skip ahead to the videos, let me say a few things up front. So there are 69 built-in functions and the way this series works is every single function gets its own dedicated video. So there's an ABS video, an all video, an input video, a zip video, etc. So it's a little bit of a choose your own adventure. You don't need to start at the beginning. You can just watch the video for any function that interests you. The next thing I'll point out is that these videos were recorded in alphabetical order. It took me about a year to do, and I started with ABS and all, etc., and worked my way from A to Z. So the first videos you're gonna see are a little bit of lower video quality. So if you start alphabetically, um, don't be discouraged that the audio isn't there or the, the tutorial quality isn't there. It's going to get better over time. All right, next, let's just review what actually is a Python built-in function. So taking a step back, there's the Python standard library. And these are all the things that are kind of baked into the Python language. And the list is huge. But what you'll notice is the very first thing after the introduction is the Python built-in functions. There's other built-ins, including constants, types, and exceptions, but this video series focuses on the Python built-in functions. So we can go to our shell, go to our terminal, and just type Python3 or Python to open the Python shell. We can type Command L to clear this gunk out of the way, and we're ready to go. So I think the very first built-in function is ABS. So you could type a negative number here and get the absolute value. And you can see how that function changed our negative one to positive one. I think the next one is all, and this takes iterables as its argument. So I'll just pass an empty list and it returns true. I think the next one's any, so I'll just pass an empty list and that returns false. So you can see how there's functionality happening behind the scenes. There's pre-built functions that other developers have written for you that you can use in your code. One last tip I'll show you is that you can use the dir built-in function to get a list of all the built-in functions. So all we gotta type here is underscore underscore built-ins underscore underscore like so. And when we run this, we're gonna get a list of all of the built-in functions as well as on top uh, the built-in constants and the built-in exceptions which you saw in the standard library. But this has all the built-in functions right here, so if you ever just wanted to get a list of it, there you go. And the next thing you could do is use dir and look at some of the attributes and methods on any given built-in function. So we can pass abs or any built-in function to dir, check that out, and just see some information about that function. So that was just kind of like a last little tip to give you guys, um, but I think you're well on your way and I hope you enjoy this series.